Hey, John. You know, hey. uh, down the block from me, I passed the other day one of those local strawberry uh, stands. And that reminded me, it's spring, it's coming towards summer, and we're getting all sorts of fresh fruits and vegetables. Yep. And I know that you're, you're a prolific gardener. Uh, you've got uh, you make all sorts of great stuff, which I look forward to getting tastes of uh, what you bring me. But for the normal guy like me that doesn't do a garden, the fresh strawberry says, "You know something? I like fresh fruit and how do and 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 vegetables. How do I get that more often?" Those strawberries talk to you all the time. I know. They do. I know. It, it, we are having a strawberry festival in my town this weekend. As really? a matter of fact. Um, and strawberries are just a wonderful uh, fruit. I just love them. I had trouble growing them a few years back, so now I I stopped growing them. And we go to the local stand here in Southern California. They grow strawberries right. almost all year round. Um, so you can go to a local what my grandmother used to call truck farms, small uh, small plots of farms, maybe only five acres, something like that. Um, and you can buy fresh strawberries, and they're fabulous. They're mm. fabulous. But, you know, there's interesting, um, of course, fresh fruit is always the best. But a lot of these uh, uh, areas in, in Southern California, there are lots of little truck farms that specialize in different things. For instance, I know in the fall, uh, down by us, there's a, uh, a farm, I don't know the name of it, that specializes in pumpkins. Oh. Now, they probably grow strawberries during the summer. But in the fall, they've got a pumpkin patch. And, of course... They give kids rides and they have scarecrows and, you know, that's a kind of an entertainment uh, venue as well as buying all the pumpkins that everybody wants well, you know, to carve it's interesting that you bring that up about the truck farms. Uh, the, uh, uh, I, I live in Orange County, California, and we have, even in our county where land is at a premium, there are four or five what I call family farms. Some are owned by tri uh, uh, remnants of uh, uh, tribes that were here uh, yeah. since before you know uh, we came to California, but I know that they're in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, uh, cherries and apples are always sure. you can you can go pick them. And in fact, Linda and I went to something called Tanaka Farms, which uh, has big strawberry uh, uh, sales uh, around this time of year. But they allow you to go in and not only get fresh fruit and produce that they grow locally, uh, but they also supply. Uh, and you can go actually go pick them yourself or bring your grandkids. It's great, a yeah. uh, great activity to do that. But if you go to all your local uh, stores like uh, Trader Joe's and Ralph's, I don't care who, where you shop, more and more often they're saying, and we get uh, uh, produce uh, and uh, vegetable uh, and uh, uh, fruits locally where we can. We try to source it locally. In fact, there are farms probably all over the country that oh, have, sure. whether it be in the Midwest with corn and soy and whatever else they sure. have, uh, the Pacific Northwest are apples. But um, down by you, uh, you have some places where you you can pick stuff uh, locally as well, don't you? Well, yeah, I think all of these, uh, again, my grandmother called them truck farms yeah. from New Jersey, Try, you know, small right. farms. Um, I think all of them are in the business of catering to the public not just selling right. produce to the grocery stores. And so most of them at some point in the time have a pick your own or some right. kind of an entertainment venue. Depends on the on the vegetable, the fruit, the time of the year right. and the, the owner. But all, you're right. All around the country are small farms that uh, small by industry standards, not by right. not by our standards, you know, five or 10 acres is a small farm compared to uh, the, the people who produce thousands of uh, acres. But um, they all have they all have fresh vegetables, or fresh fruit, and most of them have some way that the public can come up and buy the stuff. So it's always worth investigating and local produce. Also, even if you don't want to go out of your way to go to some of these, uh, you can always go to the local farmers markets and you see a lot of the same vendors go from from we have two or three uh, a week yeah. in our area, and there's one particular vendor who you see at each and every one of them. I think they come from uh, uh, someplace in mid California, someplace, and yeah. they bring all this stuff down. And it's all fresh, and it's it's 
it's nice and some of them are organic they don't uh, yeah. you know they grow it under uh, uh, organic rules uh, of no pesticides and things like that so and and the important thing that it's fresh it's local and even yep. though there's lots of stuff that comes in from Mexico and Peru and every place else to get things that just don't even grow here year round or ever uh, so yeah. that's kind of nice but getting fresh fruit and vegetables that uh, are picked within days of it showing up on the sand is really kind yeah. of nice. Oh, yeah. Delicious. And uh, and you know what? You're suppo supporting the local economy, too. So yeah. I hope everybody gets to their farmer's market or even better, looks for these local farms and uh, see what's available. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.